Hello everybody, and welcome to a special recording of Lordy Lord Does Reverend W. Audrey's Ghost Train. Enjoy! And every year on the date of the accident, it runs again, plunging into the gap, shrieking like a lost soul. Percy, what are you talking about? The ghost train. Driver saw it last night. <laughs> Where? asked Thomas and Toby together. He didn't say, but it must have been on our line. He says ghost trains run as a warning to others. Ooh, he went on. It makes my wheels wobble to think of it. Pooh, ha, said Thomas. You're just a silly little engine, Percy. I'm not scared. Thomas didn't believe in your ghost, said Percy next morning. His driver laughed. Neither did I. It was just a pretend ghost on television. Percy was disappointed. But he was too busy all day with his stone trucks to think about ghosts. That evening, he came back light engine from the harbour. He liked running at night. He coasted along without effort. The rails humming cheerfully under his wheels and signal lights changed to green at his approach. He always knew where he was, even in the dark. Crow's Farm Crossing, he chanted happily. We shan't be long now. Sam had forgotten that Mr. Crow wanted a load of lime taken to Forty Acre Field. When he remembered it was nearly dark, he drove in a hurry, bumping over the crossing and sank his car front wheels into mud at the field gate. The horse tried hard, but couldn't move it. The car's tail still fouled the railway. Sam gave it up. He unharnessed the horse, rode back to the farm for help. There's still time, he told himself. The next train isn't due for an hour. But he reckoned without Percy. <coughs> Look out! Percy broke the cart in smithereens. Lime flew everywhere. They found no one at the crossing, so went on to the nearest signal box. Hello, said the signalman. What have you done to Percy? He's white all over. Percy's driver explained. I'll see to it, said the signalman. But you better clean Percy, or people will think he's a ghost. Percy chuckled. Do let's pretend I'm a ghost and scare Thomas. They'll teach him to say I'm a silly little engine. On their way, they met Toby, who promised to help. Thomas was being oiled up for his evening train, when Toby hurried in, saying, Percy's had an accident. Oh, poor engine, said Thomas. Oh, botheration! That means I'll be late. They, they, they cleared the line for you, Toby went on. But... <clears throat> But there's something worse. You, 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 you see, I, 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 out with it, Toby. Thomas interrupted. I can't wait all evening. I, I, I just seen something, said Toby in a shaky voice. It looked like, oh, like Percy's ghost. It said it was coming here to, to, to warn us. <laughs> Pooh. Who cares? Don't be frightened, Toby. I'll take care of you, <laughs> silly engine. Percy approached the shed quietly and glided through it. Peep, 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 he shrieked. Has been arranged, Toby's driver and fireman quickly shut the doors. Let me in, let me in, said Percy in a spooky voice. No, no, answered Toby. Not by the smoke of my chimney, chim, chim. I'll chuff and I'll puff and I'll break your door in. Oh, 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 oh dear, exclaimed Thomas. It, it, it's getting late. I, I, I got no idea. I must find Annie and Clabo. And he hurried out the other way. Percy was none the worse for his adventure. He was soon cleaned, but Thomas never returned. Next morning, Toby asked them where he had been. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> well, said Thomas, 
I knew you'll be sad about Percy, and uh, I, 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 I didn't like to intrude. I slept in the good shed, and <whistles> oh, 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 he went on humming. Link. Sorry, can't stop. Got here, coach by a train, and he shot off like a jack rabbit. Percy rolled up alongside. <laughs> well, 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 he exclaimed. What do you think about that? Anyone would think, chuckled Toby, that our Thomas had just seen a ghost. <laughs>